Hi, my name is Renee, and I'm the developer of Potions, A Curious Tale. I'm going to be doing a demo playthrough for about the next hour, and I hope you'll enjoy me and enjoy the game. I really also hope that you'll uh, wishlist us on Steam, and uh, yeah, check out the demo yourself if you think that this is a game for you. So let's get started. Crash. Ow! Are you all right down here? I think so. My head broke the fall. I think we've run aground. Take these potions of healing and stay below deck. Topside is no place for a young lass. Roar! <laughs> That's some very loud ground. As you might have noticed, I am currently dressed as Luna from Potions of Curious Tale. This costume was made so we could do a live action trailer soon. So I hope you check that out. I know these doors don't have anything, so let's follow this sunbeam. Ooh. Get back, devil fish. I shall have your tentacles hung from the main yard like the slimy. What on earth is that thing? It's the Kraken. You should have stayed below deck, girl. So uh, Sinbad and the Kraken are just uh, the first two fairy tale and folklore characters that you run into in Potion's A Curious Tale. And uh, yes, this, this is a boss fight. <laughs> Aha, wonderful girl. Taunting the beast into attacking our weaponry is a stroke of genius. Well done. Uh, so unlike other games, um, there's often some alternative strategies. As we can see here, uh, the weapons are sharp, but Luna's 12 and uh, not proficient in pikes or sabers or anything else on that weapon rack. Watch out for the oil. Don't let it catch fire. All right. Well, maybe we can burn the tentacle. I wanted to give that a try. Come on over here. Try to hit that. Ooh. Oh, no, that just made steam. Well, we do have some flammable things here. Pretty much every boss fight in this game can be defeated with a strategic approach. Uh, and you often get different rewards if you manage to beat it in that manner. Well, at least different story points. Haha, -ha, you're a marvel, my dear. The beast flees from you as if from the Caliph's armada. A young girl sends the terrible monster back to the depths. The bard shall sing of your great victory. I'd hardly call that a victory. Nonsense. We are not dead. The sip did not sink. The sun is above and the sea below. What more could a sailor ask for? But this is no time to celebrate. Full sail, crew. Onward to our destination. We'll just ignore that the sail is down. <laughs> Praise to the Most High. We've arrived at last. The town of Old Haven. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's the only port this side of the wildlands. Attracts all manner of adventurers, treasure hunters, smuggles and scoundrels. I wouldn't exactly call it a safe passage, but a deal's a deal. Here's the rest of your payment, Captain Sinbad. Aha, but of course, the Arabella always arrives safe and sound. That is, well, she's the first one, actually. What? You mean all of your other boats have sunk? Why, yes, miss. Why do you think we charge so little for the fare? Uh, if you have not read uh, Sinbad and his tales, I highly recommend it. It's very fun. Uh, excuse me, what happened to this ship? It was attacked by a huge sea monster just before we arrived. Not again. That kraken is attacking more ships than it did in the past. What brings you here anyway? Old Haven isn't a very safe town. Fun fact, Emily means strong-willed. Uh, and it can mean rival. I'm here to study with my grandmother. Study? Yep, my grandmother is this town's potions master, and I'm here to learn the trade. You learn the intricacies of one of the most complicated forms of magic? I doubt you'd even be able to grasp the basic concepts. You're just going to get in her way when Old Haven needs her services dearly. Go back home to be coddled and let a more worthy person be her apprentice. All right, Emily, it's uh, a little rough. Oh, hello. You know what's weird? 
Day by day, nothing seems to change, but pretty soon, everything's different. Drop in some advice, Rosalind. Hi, I'm Mary. Are you Luna? My father said you were coming. I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's gonna be so wonderful to have another girl my age here. Please accept this ivy as a symbol of our new friendship. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. Ivy, also known as Bindwood and Lovestone. Cool. I like free things. All right, Grandma. Ah, potion supplies. Makes sense that she's in here. Hello? Hmm? Oh, Luna, my dear. Welcome. My, how you've grown. Nice to see you, Grandmother. Please, call me Granny. Everyone else around here does. Now, I understand you've shown some skill in the craft of potion brewing. I wouldn't exactly call it a skill. I was trying to make some brown dye to color a scuff in the door and it exploded. Exploded, you say? Yes, I blew the back porch right off the house. Mother was so mad at me. Wonderful, dear. You must have the talent. Go on, tell me how you made this explosion. Well, there were some mushrooms that were almost the right color of brown, so I ground them up. It was too light to match the door, though, so I added a bit of ash from the fireplace until the shade matched. And then? I didn't have a brush, so I found a feather to apply it, and BAM! It blew up the second I touched it with a feather. Oh, a minor explosive potion! Marvelous, my dear, you do have the talent. Now, go collect a mushroom, ash, and a feather. You should be able to find ash and feather at McDonald's farm, and there should be plenty of mushrooms at the edge of the deep dark forest. Off you go. Uh, can I just use ash from the fireplace here? And wreak havoc on my own supply? Certainly not. Go search out these ingredients and come back when you've gathered them all. <laughs> I love how Granny is protective over her fireplace. Well, whoops, may I help you? Can you please help me collect these herbs? Tap the space bar to collect everything. Yay. Thank you so much. Please keep them and put them to good use. I shall. Too bad I didn't need time. Well, we all need time. So, uh, Potions A Curious Tale has a bunch of biomes, but you only unlock two at the start. We have uh, the farm and desert area. I guess it's technically three, because farm and desert are two, but you don't get the desert yet. The deep dark forest. There's also the fairy forest, the swamp, the tundra, and fire mountain. Very cool, but let's start at the farm. All right, here we are, and oh, already found a feather. And these little guys, hello, who are you? Oh, Ash, uh-oh. Did I, did I just do what I think I did? Let's, let's check this notification. Soot Sprite, small black ball of soot that has come to life from wild magic. Soot sprites are shy creatures rarely found outside of the wildlands as they avoid populated areas. They turn back to ash when their magic runs out. New turns into ash when picked up. Who knew soot, soot could have a sweet tooth? Yes, that's a reference. Oh, we also saw something else here. The gobbler. But we don't know how to get loot off of it yet. Well, at least there's these feathers. And a box. Oh man, blueberries. And more ash. And more feathers. Alright, I think this is a pretty pretty good set of items. Let's uh let's go get that mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. So there's a lot of levels in this game. Um, there's seven biomes and ah, mushrooms, cap mushrooms. And I think there's three to six levels per biome, not including bonus areas like caves and ruins and temples, which are the equivalent of dungeons. Uh, the first temple is not in the demo. It's a, a bit further in the game than that. Um, so you'll probably have to play four or five hours to get to the first dungeon. But there's four of them in total. Look at this orb. 
Da -da -da -da. Let's go see what was in there. Well, a mushroom. That's that's nice. We got a lot of mushrooms, and a card. The basilisk. Such venom in a small package. The basilisk is hatched from a rooster's egg that looks like a rooster with a serpent's tail. Its gaze, bite, breath, and hiss are all fatal. Uh, so there's actually these collectible cards throughout the game, and you can use them to unlock permanent bonus upgrades. They are very handy. Uh, they also help you find recipes that are harder to find, and all of them have uh, real fairy tale and folklore creatures uh ones from cultures around the world um so obviously you've probably heard of the basilisk before um but there's all different cultures in here uh african lore native american lore uh chinese lore japanese lore um south african lore just anything you can think of um we've tried to include it in this game there's 56 collectible cards i believe but you can't find all of those in the demo. You have to play the full game to, to collect the whole batch. And for now, we'll talk with Granny. Ah, you've gathered all the ingredients. Perfect, let me show you how to craft them. This is where you craft potions by combining the ingredients. All potions take three ingredients to craft. Some will require specific ingredients, while others may only require mana combinations. Each ingredient has a mana value. The feather you gathered, for example, contributes one air mana. Now let's craft that minor explosive potion. This potion is rare in that it uses three types of mana. Most potions are only crafted with two different types of mana, which is very helpful as you get to the late game. Because <laughs> if you start making potions with too much mana in it, or too many types of mana, they just won't work. And that's sad. Combine mushroom with ash and a feather. Ash, mushroom, feather, and craft. Hey, look at this. Wonderful, dear. Your very first potion. You can review the recipe in the recipe book in the bottom right corner. You can craft as many as you have ingredients for. Though you made this with mushroom, ash, and feather, you can make it with other ingredients of the same elements too. Be sure to look for ingredients with different mana values in your explorations. Those rare higher mana ingredients can make potions that really pack a punch. Remember, though, you can only carry 10 vials of each potion in your satchel at a time. All right, well, let's see. I guess we should make more explosive potions. Oh, we can only make one. Really low on ash. Should have explored more. And let's sort of throw some other things together. What can we do? Um, let's make whatever a bunch of time is. It's a minor rock bomb. Cool. How about if we do... Uh, and a feather. Oh, who knows what it is? It's a minor cone of gas. Oh no. All right. That should be good. Yes, we shall equip these. Now that you know how to craft, you are welcome to use my cauldron to brew at, at to brew any potion you'd like. Just click on the cauldron to start crafting. Speaking of which, would you please pay a visit to Callum at the farm? I fear I lost my stone of recall when looking in his dry well. Be sure to take some minor explosive potions with you. Callum has a nasty rat problem there. Aggressive things even stole papers from my bag. All right, we can do that. So now we can get into combat. But similar to the Kraken fight, not all combat has to be direct combat. And I'm actually going to go away from the well here for a second to show you that example. Um, being a developer is helpful. You just know where everything is. Let's look over here. Hello, rat. You are very scary. I'm going to run away from you. Oh, there's a door. I'm going to try to get to the door. And look at it. He's dying. I kited him in to a bonfire. I wonder if kiting is a common term these days among gamers. I grew up playing WoW. So, I'm used to that term there. And all of these feathers, which I imagine will be helpful. It's very easy to get distracted with collecting things. Whoops, got too close to the fire myself. Uh, not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Here we go. 
Luna. Oh no. Could this rat have stolen Granny's Stone of Recall? Well, I have it. And I can throw it. Go away. Oh, okay. He's gone. Got him. I can use Stony Granny's Stone of Recall to get back home. But first, more ash. And to check my bestiary. Aha. All right. Now let's let's teleport home. Convenient. <laughs> All those little quality of life things. <clears throat> you may have the proper permits, but I'll monitor your use of this vile sorcery. Yes, yes. Oh, Luna, welcome home, my dear. What? How did she get in here? What trickery is this, witch? Oh, splendid! You found my stone of recall. Is she of the age to be using such devilry? I'll have you know. This stone will return you to my home from wherever you may travel. Are you even listening to me? I have authority here. My deepest apologies for neglecting your tantrum, my prince. Luna has seen her twelfth cycle of seasons, so she is of age to be using these trinkets and study potion brewing herself. Shall I brew a mood enhancer for you? You seem quite troubled. No, I want none of it. The prince has developed an interesting approach for his stay in Old Haven. Who is he? He's Prince Charming, the youngest prince of the royal family. No matter, how was recovering the Stone of Recall? I had to fight a rat down the well to get it. Good job, my dear. While we work to save lives, conflict is sometimes avoidable, unavoidable, or even necessary. It is? Do you think toad's eyes grow on trees? I fear not. But you'll find much benefit in only killing for what you need to, as force is often met with force. Many things can be gained through other methods of approach. Here, let me enter this recipe for a minor potion, minor potion of healing in your recipe book to heal you in any future encounters. Your recipe book can be found in the bottom right corner of the crafting scene. Come on, cat, you can get on my lap. Oh, you're stepping on my wig. Here, you can review all the recipes you've learned. You'll find knowledge of them may allow you to create them with your diff with different sets of ingredients. Like this minor explosive potion, this minor potion of healing uses three different types of mana. Most potions only use two. If you select ingredients for a potion recorded in your recipe book, you will be able to craft multiple copies of the potion at once by increasing the multi-craft number to the right of the selected ingredients. Now, my dear, practice your brewing by crafting two potions of healing. Deliver one to the inn and the other to the huntsman. Here are the ingredients for them. Thanks, Granny. Oh, I forgot she gave them to me. How convenient. All right, water. I should actually look at this, huh? Pin. Water. Bleh. Bleh. Two. Make three. Easy. Made three. Hi, cat. Are you not comfortable on my lap? Yeah, let's equip them. I see you've collected a good amount of potion ingredients. Let's store them for safekeeping. I'll store your ingredients whenever you return home. You wouldn't want to lose them if you were to be fall troubles in your adventures. So that's the one threat if you if you die. <laughs> you don't really die, you just sort of pass out. Um, but you do lose all of your ingredients and they are not recoverable. Hey baby. The end. I've brought a minor potion of healing for you. Thank you. Tell your grandmother I'll send payment later. I must attend to this awful prince right now. More mulberry wine. Hi, Callum. Not Callum. Corey. Never a dull day here in Old Haven. Hey, Sinbad. Blinding of foe is effective for escaping danger. I learned that lesson well on my third voyage. We're not going to talk with Prince Charming. Are you not comfortable? My cat is, um, is really sick. So I'm being very patient with him. Ah, you think the huntsman would have all of these tanning racks? Probably. 
Hello? Oh, it's you. What do you want? All right, Emily. I've come to deliver a potion for the huntsman. So you're just playing the errand girl now. Did Granny figure out you have no talent? Rude. I brewed this potion of helium myself. Just give it to me. Expect proper compensation if it makes my father even more ill. All right. Emily's dad's the huntsman. And he's sick. Maybe that's why she's so grumpy. Welcome home, my dear. Did you deliver the potions? Yes, I delivered both of them. The innkeeper said he would send payment later. He's dealing with Prince Charming. That obnoxious hothead is harassing other people, is he? Let me add a water bomb recipe to your recipe book. You could use it to cool hotheads like him. I'll feel, I feel much better about your adventures, knowing you can brew your own minor potions of healing to use in the field. I'll always heal you to full health when you get home, though. You shouldn't feel limited by your recipes. Most combinations of ingredients with two types of mana will create potions, so feel free to experiment. Your next task is quite beyond our brewing abilities, however, for there's another item every witch should carry. You'll need to visit my eldest sister in the deep, dark forest. She won't be difficult to find. Just look for a hut perched atop a pair of chicken legs. Does that sound familiar? A hut on chicken legs? That's the one. Here, take this handkerchief. I've wrapped a bit of ham and a slice of bread for you. A little snack to keep your feet light on the journey. Or we could craft a water bomb. Bam. Who votes we go throw this at Prince Charming? Oh, I see you've been collecting magical cards. You can use them to unlock magical doors. With one bronze card, you can unlock the magical door to the, the back of our home. And don't fear, they won't disappear. Like I said, benefits. But first, we have a prince to water. Hey, buddy. I can't believe I was forced to come to this backwater town. My father clearly undervalues my potential. Yeah. Hey, what was that for? I'll have you know these silks are extremely costly and rare. Who do you think you are? I think I'm a potions girl. That was great, Luna. I wish I could douse that aggravating prince with some of this wine, too. Please take this as thanks for a good laugh. Silver? That's a high payment for a laugh. No complaints. Thank you, Corey. All right. Now to go find that strange hut. It's a wonder. I wonder who could live in a hut on chicken legs. Does that sound like any folklore characters you know of? Oh, gotta watch out for that. Ooh, whoa, 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 ow. Aha. Mushroom spores. Rare spores blown off a live mushroom. Ah, uh, in fact, that is a mushroom. He drops mushroom caps when killed, and his spores can be blown off with a strong wind. Now we know. What's this? It could shatter easily. Aha! And in fact, it does. And I get more mushrooms. area with an orb and a chest down there with the lady the person is it this way As you can see, 
both monsters can friendly fire on themselves and you can friendly fire on yourself too. So be careful with your attacks. Nice. But, hello. Excuse me, miss, were you trapped here? No, miss, here. And trapped? No, I don't believe I was trapped. Well, if you'd like a place to rest, Old Haven isn't too far from here. Rest? Hmm, yes, a rest for my research. A new environment for my research. Marvelous, I shall venture there. And near is the first recruitable NPC that will give you mini quests. So you can expect to get lots of interesting advice from her, especially as a fellow potion brewing witch. Ooh, yeah. Hello. It's a kitty. Should we feed the kitty? We should probably feed the kitty. Thank you, miss. Hunger is truly the best spice. That hit the spot perfectly. You, you can talk? It is rather surprising, I admit. Some say it's my most unfortunate skill. My name is Helios, and what brings you to this forest, young one? I was sent here to ask a favor from the woman that lives here. You're either awfully bold or awfully foolish, but as one good turn deserves another, I shall accompany you. Turn around and bow low, bothersome hut. The old crone has a visitor. Okay, that is a good way to get the hut down. Let's see. The old gate squeaks and groans before sticking on its hinges. She never oils that poor gate. Well, puzzle time. Looks as if it could shatter easily. Okay, but what about this? Hmm, it's just out of my reach. Well, we're out of explodey potions, but this looks like a cauldron right here. So maybe we can make a new one. Or a bunch of them. And maybe we can experiment with some other things. Let's see. What happens if we make some mushroom spore thingies? Cone of sand. Cool. How about this? Protective drought. Drought. Yes. Shall protect us from bad things. Call that hut down and blast open the door. <laughs> oh dear, are you okay? What's wrong? I. I just... Should we comfort? Yeah. There, there, it can't be so bad. Here, take my handkerchief. Oh. Thank you ever so much, sweet thing. It's rare for a kind soul to venture into my domain. Well, who are you? Are you my grandmother's sister? I am called many things, but you may, be, you may call me Baba Yaga, sister to all and to none. Oh, pleased to meet you, Baba Yaga. My name is Luna. I was told you could help me craft an item of great power. I know who you are and what you seek but my aid is never freely given. I shall provide my broom to thee, but I will need the ma materials to craft another. Thus, I have a task for you. A broom? For cleaning? No, no, you silly girl, for flying. After I grant this boon to thee, you must gather items three. First, a branch of willow bring, deep as shadow, bright as spring. Golden straw must next be won, the kind by fickle goblins spun. Then find fairy dust, then find dust from fairy's wings, from pixie, pixie's magic mushroom rings. Once these talismans you have gathered, return to me and hear my answer. For if these forces you can tame, a witch's bounty you shall claim. A flying broom would be very helpful. I'll gather these materials for you to replace it. Thank you. 
careful though. It's easy to get knocked off. I got a cat and a broom. Oh, but I have a quest of things we must do. But we can do them faster with our broom. I've really enjoyed uh, the development process of this game. It's actually been in development for nine years. Um, and it's because I didn't want to cut any corners. I wanted to make sure that I had all of the puzzles and experiences and levels. And uh, I'm really excited that we're going to be launching so soon in March. Um, as I said, wishlist means so much. So uh, if you have any interest at all, if you could wishlist the game, it would help so much. Hello, guy. That bull just won't leave me alone. It charges right at me anytime I go near it. Maybe it's your red shirt? I thought they were colorblind. Fantasies tend to lean into tropes like that. Helios uh, likes to break the fourth wall. He is... Also very catty. But, ooh, now we can cross this. To the next area. Ooh, mushroom rings. Oh. Are they pickable mushrooms? They aren't. I, I am joking, of course, I know this puzzle. It's a counting puzzle. Can we count? We can, four, five, and we get a beautiful chest. With the card, Mushvelly, the, the mouse whale of Iceland. Mushvelly moves fast, propelled by its whip-like tail. Its razor-sharp teeth can strip the flesh of anything, including the kraken. Well, that would have been useful when the kraken was attacking our ship, huh? But you are not straw, and here I am looking for straw. You look like golden straw. Can I help you? Oh, excuse me. I just need some of this straw. And you wish me to spin it into gold for you, yes? No, sir. Just the straw is all I need. Well, aren't you curious? Still, no favor without a price. Your firstborn son, fast sound fair? Well, wait, you want my firstborn son for straw? That's absurd. Fine, fine. I'll give you straw if you can guess my name. Uh, your name? Tom Riddle? Nope. Alright. Imps are notorious for singing their own praises in private. If we can find where he celebrates, we might discover his name. Where do imps like to celebrate? Oh, they generally seem to set up camp in some remote part of a forest. Might have seen something of the sort in the Twisted Woods. Fair. But first, I'm going to totally loot his stuff. Hey, hey. Alright. Let's go to the twisted woods in the deep dark forest. Poor sick kitty. Mm, but we can craft. Let's do something fiery. <gasps> hey, it's a firebomb. That does, in fact, seem fiery. How about something watery? Blue dye. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Could we make red dye? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what we could use that for. Maybe I won't show you. <laughs> All right, let's equip our things and head out. Let's find the Twisted Woods. Aha! We have found the Twisted Woods. Relatively easy. Alrighty, click that orb. Guess we haven't gone this way, huh? We went to the right. Ooh. Do you hear something? Maybe. Your ivy and mushrooms. <laughs> Str 
straw, a trifle she desires, not you, yet not the gold that once inspired. This clever witchling thinks she's wise, rejecting deals that I devise. She cannot fathom what's at stake, her futile quest, a grand mistake. She'll never triumph in this game, for Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Ooh. Oh man, do I have any water? I don't. <laughs> no. Uh, but there's a chest up there. I bet it would grow with a bit of care too. But all I have is fire. All right. Should we go tell Rumpelstiltskin we know his name? <laughs> all right, Rumpel. The last straw. Winter fields. Here we go. Your name is Rumpelstiltskin. Impossible. How did you guess? Oh, you know, just a feeling. Hm. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's your straw. Thanks. I don't have to be such a grump about it, though. So, as you can see, there are lots of different fairy tale and folklore characters. Um, we've experienced some from European lore, uh, some from Middle Eastern lore, and our next adventure here in the tundra will introduce us to some characters from Chinese lore. Excuse me, miss. I need your assistance. What is it? Could you take this package to the willow tree? just up this path? My form won't allow me to carry it myself. Bah! We don't have time to be running errands for a ghost. Helios, stop it! I'd be happy to assist you. All right, Helios. Helios doesn't like escort quests either. I can understand, buddy. Don't worry, Helios. This guy goes fast. Oh, Ice Hog. What do you do? It does not want to hug. But what if I hug you? Oh, you're scary. Oh, release ice quills if I try to hug you. Yes. So, as you can see, uh, different creatures have different ways to approach certain ingredients. Uh, ice hogs having a gray health bar means I can't attack them. Ooh, harpy egg. Ma'am, please. Please stop. Oh my gosh. Go away. And steal your feathers. No! Uh, I don't know. Should I use my last explosive potion on her? Aha! Herpy talons. I should probably heal myself. There we go. I should have her. Sorry. We've made it! Set down the offering on the rock here. Okay. An offering? Forgive me, old friend. You gave me your flesh, own flesh to save my life, and I repaid you by trying to force you into a life at royal court, a life you had no wish for. Duke Wen of Jin, I did not expect such an honored visitor. Please, just ch call me Chonger, dear friends. Forgive me for setting fire to this area to try to coerce you into accepting the role. Accept this offering of food never touched by flame. No need to ask for forgiveness. You only wish to repay me for my services to you. My foolishness cost you and your mother your lives. The past is in the past. We've both lived long. Be at rest, Chonger. So this is actually the origin story of the Cold Food Festival in China. I thought it was uh, pretty neat, so I decided to include it in the game. All right. Yeah, harpies. Um... Let's go to the fairy forest and maybe make some potions. I'm getting awfully low. What should we make? Let's 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 get our elements up. We'll have some fire. And we can do some water. And then some earth, I guess. Just rock bombs. <laughs> Six rock bombs. It's a lot of rock bombs. We're, we're rocking. I'm sorry, you have to put up with my terrible jokes. 
both my commentary and in the writing. I do both. <laughs> oh, hello. No, this won't do. This really won't do. What's wrong, dear? I desperately need a harpy town for my experiments. Could you please get one for me? Okay. She wants a new harpy town. Doesn't want our old one. All right, fairy forest. Let's see what you have to offer. Hey, listen. <laughs> so what? Nothing. Just felt compelled. As I said, you have to put up with my terrible jokes. But this broom is so speedy. And dart frogs look... Uh, not huggable. Ooh. Oh, hello. Dart frog poison. Well, now we know. I'm not going to go in that cave because he is blocking it. And we have things to do. And pots to help. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That was hot. Thank you for saving me. Are you okay? Don't transform into something if you can't play the part. Don't be so catty, feline. It was a simple misunderstanding. A merchant was giving me a free lift, thinking me one of his goods, when I fell asleep. I didn't awaken until someone tried to cook with me. Look at those potion bottles. You must be a potions master. Let me share my recipe for a minor cone of vines potion as thanks. All right. Cool. Buddy. Uh, so Tanuki are from Japanese folklore, and they do have the ability to transform into other things. Uh, Tanuki are raccoon dogs, if you're familiar with them by that name. Uh, and there's all sorts of fun lore about them. Uh, I thought I would include them in this, because they are also um, like good luck symbols in Japan. Hello! Oh, you are fiery. Well, there's an orb over there. You are. Let's just hope that gets far enough. Aha! It does. Do, 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 do. What's this? Chiruf? A humanoid monster composed of rocks and lava. Lives in Chilean, Chilean volcanoes will cause massive destruction unless it receives human sacrifices. Here we go. A Chilean card. Don't upset the volcano monster. But we're not looking for volcano monsters. We're looking for fairies. Oh, oh that's a secret area. And orbs. Sure. Stairs. Magical stairs. Magical stairs. Let's adventure into magical stairs. <laughs> so this is a ruins area. They conveniently have cauldrons so we can brew things if we would like. What's this? Cone of water. Sure. Yeah. And uh, fire to avoid. Ow. Okay. Or not. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to die. <laughs> ah. And blades to avoid, too. This is terrifying. <laughs> but we got a Tetelec card. It's a giant frog that once drank up all the world's fresh water. When the eel Nabunum made him laugh, he vomited the water, calling, causing a cosmic flood. It is very interesting uh, how many... How many different lore around the world have... Oh, jeez, I died. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. I agree, Luna. I uh, I did not, not navigate you through that very well. Well, time, time to go back out. Um, I'm surprised by how many uh, cultures around the world have stories of great floods. So that is one of them. Where were we? We were in the Shining Woods. We'll, uh... At least we got the card out of that. Whee. Whee. All right. And of course, all these biomes have different things that you can collect in them. Oh, mushrooms. 
mushroom rings. P Pixie's magic mushroom rings. What brings you to our forest, youngling? I came to gather some fairy dust. Ah, you're a magic practitioner. Perfect. We need your assistance in a small task and we'll happily provide you some fairy dust as payment. You want to make a deal with a fairy? Let's just swat her down and pull her wings off. Helios? I think your companion is a bit too close to his feline roots. No bird to be hunted and devoured. I promise you you'll get your dust if you help us. What do you need? There's some old ruins up ahead that we hope to open to help a friend. We've activated part of it, but have yet to unlock the rest. The seals on the pillars seem to need some elemental magic to unlock. I guess I can take a look at it. Well, luckily for them, we know elemental magic. Or at least how to brew it. Hello. Milk. Ice. Whee! Oh, this isn't attacking me. This might need some water to activate. And this might need some fire to melt. Whee! What's new? Lots of water. Whee! else is here oh, okay okay so they're mostly activated we've got Ooh, I can't roll. We've got four out of five last one it's around the top Ooh. Oh, ash. I want to be flamed Whee. all right earth well, rocks, rocks are earth, right? Looks like it. Ooh. Oh, w w what was that? Nothing good, I'm sure. Well, you did it. Here's the fairy dust, as promised. Well, what exactly did we do? Helped us, thanks, bye. Well, I'm sure that's not going to have anything to do with the main plot of the game, is it? <laughs> Just... Oh, maybe I should have checked out those stairs. Oh, well. We'll never know. I teleported home before checking it out. You will have to play the demo to figure out what's in the stairs that the dark stuff came out of. But for now, we'll go to talk with Baba Yaga down here chicken legs I like that that looks like a beak do you have all the ingredients my dear yes they're all right here splendid now just give me a moment hey come get me out of here uh, Emily what's going on this hag threw me in a cage after I asked for her help now now you tried to trick me with your illusions serves you right and here you are, Luna, your very own broom. Thank you. Uh, one more thing, if you don't mind. Yes, my dear? Would you please release my friend over there, Emily? <laughs> really? That troubled little liar? Yes, please. Ha! Huh, there was my dinner. Very well, young Luna. I'll release the girl if you'll do one more task for me. Uh, what task is that? There's a very powerful potion that your grandmother is a specialist at brewing. She charges like, quite a lot for it. I would like you to learn to brew it and make it for me if I'm ever in need. I can do that. Good then. This deceiver is free to go. She is lucky you will bring balance here. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Welcome home, my dear. I see you've earned a, your broom. And even a familiar? Wonderful. A familiar? That would be me. I don't know if you seem that familiar yet. <sighs> Granny, there was another request as well. Baba Yaga asked me to learn to make your most powerful potion. Oh, she did? I wonder what she has in mind for that. Well, the recipe is simple enough. You just need to combine spider silk with thyme and feather. Spider silk? That's the one. You should find spiders lurking around in the deep dark forest. 
useful for ingredients, but I wouldn't trust anything with more than two legs. Hey, a four. I, I wouldn't trust anything with more than four legs. All right. Love how Helios got offended about that. Cool. Shall we go adventuring deeper into the deep dark forest? Mushrooms. Ooh. Missed the bonfire before. Oh, hello. Nope. I don't want to deal with him. Ooh. Hello. It's the gobbler. Ooh. Those turkeys are vicious creatures. If you get on their bad side, I wouldn't try to attack them. Combat is not always the answer. Some monsters drop ingredients when provoked by other methods. Though the turkey may have wings, they are scared of flying things. Oh no, 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 don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> he ran back into my fire. It's not my fault. Oh, you are scared of flying things. Oh. I feel very low life. That turkey was very mean, and I do not have health potions. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just play it dangerously. Ooh, okay, there's a spider. Um nope. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Hey, wouldn't you know? Fire worked. Aha! Spider silk. Strong light cord. What is this? Panics and drops feathers when scared. Neat. Ah. Drops animal parts when killed. Ah, spider silk can be gathered when its web attack hits a target. Cool. So you have to get hit to get spider silk. But we have our ingredients, and I have no life, so we shall return home. <laughs> I guess we need to combine them. Spider silk. Time and feather. Magical cleaner? A cleaning potion? Well, that's unexpected. It's my very own magical cleaner for vanquishing even the most stubborn stains and cobwebs. It works like magic because, well, it is. The locals use it for practically everything. Chimneys, floors, crockery. Just don't use it on your laundry. It seems to make clothing disappear. Shouldn't you teach me a recipe for something more useful? Like banishing demons, or granting vision in the dark, or calling down a storm of lightning? All in good time, my dear. I can assure you this is the potion that Baba Yaga requested you learn. Okay. I shall equip it. Doorbell jingles. Granny, I, I didn't know where else to go. Oh my, John, what's the matter? It's, it's my little girl, Mary. I can't find her anywhere. You know she loves playing with little forest creatures, critters. So I've been searching the forest for hours, but it's okay, John, we'll find her. Although my old bones aren't up for traipsing through the woods anymore, my Luna has proven herself quite capable. If anyone can find Mary, she can. Luna, dear. Go find John's daughter in the deep, dark forest. Oh no, Mary Muffet is lost in the place with spiders. Oh, hello. Forgot to, uh, to go into Granny's back area here, her garden, our cards. What's down here? It was a recipe that I skipped by. But as a developer, I know it is for a confetti bomb, which freezes enemies in their tracks and makes them dance in celebration. Yay, forest dancing. Maybe I should get the harpy talent from the tundra first. 
Can't spoil too much of the quest, right? Ooh, harpy. Ow. I don't know why I said ow. Ah! No, back up. Oh, she knocked my thing into me. Rude, ma'am. Ooh. Hey, you should come here. I have an ice hog for you to hug. Aha! Or I'll wash you. Yay, Harpy Talon. Oh, I missed this. Dope. That's right, we'll go home. Give away our Harpy Talon. She's so happy, look at her. Here you are. Oh, what? Oh, yes. The talon. Lovely, lovely. This will do. Here, take this. Sand spear. Ooh. Unleashes a spout of sand that blinds and chokes. Neat. Deep dark forest. House of sticks. Is there a house of sticks? Do you think I could huff and puff and blow it down? Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. We can try. Shall we try to huff and puff and blow it down? All the feathers. Minor wind bomb. That seems nice. Let's make more of those. Maybe we should see what's in this ruins area as well. <gasps> a chest. Oh, and a puzzle. Whoop. Yay. The golden hind. Faster than a speeding arrow, the golden hind, a massive doe with golden antlers, is one of Artemis's pets. Hercules captured it, but allowed it to escape thus avoiding Artemis's wrath while fulfilling his third quest. Yeah, Artemis is uh, not somebody you want to get the bad, on the bad side of. I mean, not like any of the gods are, but yeah. Let's see. Woo! Okay. Cat falling off my lap. So, uh, as you can see, there are many puzzles, creatures to encounter, interesting ways to interact with those creatures cards to collect people to recruit and help spiders to avoid or fight and uh fairy tale and folklore creatures for you to engage with so i hope that you find this to be an interesting game uh it is different for sure and what's this stool doing in the woods? Is that Mary's? It's a tuffet specifically, and I have a feeling you're right. Let's check ahead. So I, uh, like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this demo so far. Obviously it's not over yet. We still need to find Mary Muffet and rescue her perhaps. And there are many, many, many puzzles I skipped because I didn't want to spoil it for you. So if you like adventure games, fairy tales, witches, folklore, and uh, alternative combat solutions, I hope you'll check out Potions A Curious Tale. I'm the lead developer, Renee, and I very much appreciate you joining me for this little demo test here. I hope that you'll wishlist us on Steam and uh, share the game, buy the game maybe when it comes out. Uh, anything you can do to support us is so greatly appreciated. So that's it. Um, thank you so much for your support. And I'm going to show you one last adorable thing uh, before we leave. This is of course a necessary feature when you have a feline companion. You can, in fact, pet the cat, come here. 
Good kitty. All right. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.